guys! So in this video I'm going to be showing you how it is that I attach crystals um, to a nail to make sure that they last and I'm going to be using the um, Steampunk mix from Crystal Parade. So here are the crystals themselves, they've been very kindly sent to me by Crystal Parade and they are the Pearl Mix in Steampunk and it is a really lovely different mix of things. I've got a little um, catching tray here, these are so handy for if you're using glitter but also um, for things like this where you want to use a lot of crystals and be able to select from them you can pour them out into the dish and you should be able to see them really nice and clearly so that's just what I'm going to do here. And you can see there is a really good selection of different sizes, different styles, and they are super sparkly. You've got little gold crystals in here, little rose gold crystals, which are stunning. And there's also little black pearls and little like silver coloured pearls as well, which are really cute. So here's my colour pop, and on this I have just um, done one coat of semi-lac pink gold and then use the semi-art paints to create the chevron at the top there. And to actually attach the crystals today I am going to be using a sculpting gel. This one is in control by ASP, um, I believe I got it from Salon Services. And you do really need a sculpting gel for this. Um, the reason for that is because it has a really thick viscosity so it's not going to um, go anywhere at all. You can see that's just the product in the cap and it literally does not move. It's really super thick. Um, the reason you want it to be super thick is so that when you press the crystals down into it, um, you get a little bit of it squelch up around the sides to create almost like a cup which the crystal will be set into. Um, I've just put a little bit of alcohol on my um, paper towel here and I've also got a, a fine point dotting tool and a little gel brush as well. So I'm going to pick up some of the gel using my gel brush and I'm just going to apply it fairly thickly but evenly uh, where I'm going to be applying the crystals on that chevron at the top of the nail. You can see there it literally does not move. It's quite sticky stuff to apply this um, and it does take a little bit of working and moving around just to get it on evenly. Uh, I should also say I've actually top coated this nail and buffed it as well before I'm applying the gel. The reason for that is so that it gives the gel something to grab onto. Um, if you were just to apply it onto a top coated nail, you may end up with it sort of, after a while, pinging off because the surface is too smooth for it to hold onto properly. And I'm just literally making sure it is evenly and fairly thickly applied where I'm going to be putting those crystals. You do need to make sure you move it with the brush to make it even as well because this is a sculpting gel, it doesn't self-level. So if you leave it all blobby, it's going to stay all blobby. So what I've done here is I've just put a tiny amount of the gel on the end of my dotting tool and what that does is it allows me to pick the crystals up and place them where I want them. I've tried crystal proper crystal tools before and they either lost their stickiness or used to drop the crystals and it was really frustrating. So this is just the way I prefer. You could do it with a little bit of top coat if you wanted to instead of with the sculpting gel but that's what I've got out so that's what I'm going to use. As I'm pushing these crystals down, I am putting them on where I want them and then pushing down the top of them so that, as I said before, the gel actually sort of squelches up around them ever so slightly. You don't want it to do it massively because you don't want to lose the shine in the crystals and you don't want it to look ugly and heavy and clunky, but you want them to sort of just 
sort of come up over the bottom edge of the crystal, if that makes sense. Just to sort of encapsulate it slightly means it's going to hold it in place, they're not going to go anywhere. Now one of the things I like about doing it this way for designs like this is that you can move it, the crystals around still. So if I were just doing a couple of crystals I would probably use acrylic to be honest with you um, because if you're just doing one or two you know pretty much where you're putting them, you can get them on before the acrylic sets. With a design like this I like to have that time to play with them, to move them around, to make sure that I've got them where I like them and of course using a gel it's not going to set them in place until you actually put it under that LED light. Um, so for me that it's quite important. Now I believe you can actually get um, specific gels for putting crystals on. I think Accents make one called Bling On. Um, I haven't tried it, I'd be interested to try it. The only reason I haven't is because I get on so well with this product there's no need for me to get another one. But if you have tried Accents Bling On Gel, please do comment uh, in the box below. Let me know how you've got on with it because I'm really interested in it as a product. Now you'll see now, I've decided I want to put some rose gold crystals along the top of the nail. But where I put them, they don't quite look even, they don't quite look spaced correctly. And again, this is where the playtime of gel um, really helps. You can move things around still. So I'm just going to sort of rearrange the crystals, make sure I've got them where I want them. Um, when I have, I'm just going to pop it into my LED light and cure them for 60 seconds. Cured. I'm going to get a bit of cleanser, I'm just going to wipe off the tackiness from the gel and I'm going to put a little bit of no wipe top coat um, onto my palette and I'm also going to get my fine detailer brush out. What I'm doing here is I'm literally painting over where I've applied the gel all around the edges to seal the gel in. So that not only helps to protect the gel but it also makes sure that everything is going to stay where you've put it. Uh, and then I'm just finishing off the nail with another layer of no wipe top coat. And here is the finished result. This mix is a really beautiful mix, really on trend at the moment, really pretty. And I love the fact that you've got those rose gold crystals in there, along with that mix of pearls, because you've got a really good variety of textures to be working with within one design. I hope this has been useful for you today, guys. Please do check out um, my website, follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter and as always all the products I've used today are in the description box. Bye!